Africa. Well, at least 100,000 people are expected to walk nearly three miles to honor the late Martin Luther King Jr. on Monday. And Councilwoman Ivy Taylor is here to talk about all the festivities around the big day. And we're also going to get a wonderful rendition of a song that will be played on Sunday from the Island Brothers in a few minutes. So, good morning. Good morning. We were just talking, we talk about all the time that San Antonio has the largest MLK march. And I asked you, is that still true today? And there is a distinction on what makes it the largest here in San Antonio, right? Yes, many other cities have large celebrations that are actually parades. Mm -hmm. And as a, at a parade, you know, you'd just be kind of a spectator and then you'd have folks that are in the parade, but we have a march where all 100,000 of us are actual participants, and so that's what makes it different. I think what also makes it different is that in a city that only has a 7% black population, mm -hmm. that we have 100,000 people come out. Some of the other celebrations are in cities with much larger African American populations. It's amazing, and every year it grows, and it, it doesn't matter, rain or shine, people are out there doing it to honor the dream that Martin Luther King had. So tell us about some of the festivities that will be going on. Okay, well our theme this year is more than a march and there's definitely more than a march happening this weekend. Um, one of the uh fun event will be the wreath laying ceremony on Sunday uh, afternoon at our MLK Monument, which is at the corner of uh, New Braunfels and East Houston Street, okay. and that's where the Island Brothers will be playing. That'll be at 2 o'clock, and we'll have a speaker, and we'll have different organizations laying wreaths there at the monument, so that'll be great. And then also on Sunday afternoon, we have an interfaith service where folks from different faiths uh, all over the city come together, and that'll be at 4 o'clock at St. Mark's. Okay, very nice. And of course, on Monday, we'll put up the graphic right now, the Martin Luther King Jr. March at 9 a.m. It starts at MLK Academy and ends at Pittman Sullivan Park. So if you want to be a part of over the 100,000 people that are going to be out there, this is the place to be. We'll be covering it live, of course, here on Fox News First. But uh, Councilman Taylor had mentioned, uh, Councilwoman Taylor had mentioned the Island Brothers will be out there on Sunday. And right now they are in the other room and they're going to be singing a wonderful song for us this morning. So well, let's take it away with them. <laughs> 